Hello and welcome back to another week in new genre of books. Thanks for stopping by. We're always glad to have you here. My name is Amelia and from Locus Magazine I'm about to tell you the top new science fiction, fantasy, and horror books being published the week of February 14th, 2023. Happy February 14th and all appropriate wishes for whatever holiday happens then. Please like and subscribe. This is a big part of keeping this booktube going and all you have to do is click the subscribe button. I've got links for timing if you want to skip to your favorite category, be it science fiction, fantasy, or horror. We love them all. Starting with science fiction books this week, we have four science fiction titles being published. First, from Ian MacDonald, we have Hope Land, out from Tor in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a science fiction time travel novel about the Hope Land family trying to outlast and remake their universe. From the Ian Mond Review in Locus, Hope Land is a story about how family, whether bound by blood or 19th century views on utopia, shapes the people we become, even if we reject that family. But what ultimately emerges is a heart-rending love story brought into focus by the devastating effects of the Anthropocene and the geopolitical response to climate refugees. And it is such a delight to me that I don't think I have to explain what the word Anthropocene means to this audience because I trust that you either know what it means already or can grok what it means from context. I love book people. Next, from Adrienne Marie Brown, we have Maroons out from AK Press in trade paperback and ebook. This is a science fiction novel, a sequel to Grievers, set in a plague ravaged Detroit. From Grace Curtis, we have Frontier, a far future debut queer space western out from Solaris US in hardcover and ebook. And from Al Hess, we have World Running Down out from Angry Robot UK in trade paperback and ebook. This is a science fiction novel about a transgender salvager in the future wastelands of Utah dreaming of earning enough money to become a citizen of utopian Salt Lake City, and an AI named Osric, forced into a body against his will and sent into the waste to recover an escort service's stolen androids. But the ladies have become self-aware and don't want to go back. Next up, horror, we have three titles in horror this week. First, from fantasy master Jane Yolen, we have The Scarlet Circus, out from Tachyon Publications and trade paperback, ebook, and audio. This collection of dark stories also includes notes and poems. Next, from Roshani Chakshi, we have The Last Tale of the Flower Bride, out from Morrow in hardcover, ebook, and audio. This is a gothic novel about a marriage, threatened dark secrets, a lost friend, and the danger of believing in fairy tales. A man married to a mysterious woman breaks his promise not to pry into her past when they visit her childhood home, which maybe is a little on her, now that I think about it, because if you don't want your sweetie to know your secrets, don't be taking them to see your childhood home, maybe. From Marie Helene Poitras, we have Sing Nightingale out from Coach House Books in trade paperback and ebook. This is a gothic horror novel translated by Rhonda Mullins from the French. The greedy owner of an enchanted wood around a crumbling estate brings home a woman who promises to restore the place to prosperity, but she plans to make the hunters the hunted. For nonfiction, we have one title this week by Sandra J. Lindo. It's called Nettie Okorafor, Magic, Myth, Morality, and the Future, out from McFarland in trade paperback, volume 82, in the Critical Explorations in Science Fiction and Fantasy series. Nettie Okorafor is a brilliant science fiction fantasy writer, recipient of awards including the Wole Soyenka Prize for Literature, as well as Hugo and Locus Awards. Her novels include Who Fears Death, which is being optioned by HBO as a TV series. Next up, fantasy, we have nine titles this week, starting with Danielle Clayton's The Beauty Trials, out from Hyperion, in hardcover and ebook. This young adult fantasy novel is third in the Bells series. Adel Beauregard enters the Beauty Trials, a deadly competition to find the next queen of Orleans. Next, we have Chris Wooding's The Shadow Casket, out from Golance in hardcover ebook and audio. This fantasy novel is the second in the epic fantasy Darkwater Legacy series. From the magical imagination of Theodora Goss, we have The Collected Enchantments, out from Mythic Delirium Books in trade paperback, hardcover, and ebook. This title reimagines fairy tales in a collection of 49 poems, 14 of which are new, plus 22 reprint and two new stories illustrated by Paula Arwin Owen. We have Joshua Philip Johnson's The Endless Song, out from Daw in hardcover and ebook, an ecological fantasy novel, second in the Tales of the Forever Sea duology, begun in the Forever Sea. From Marina Lostetter, we have The Cage of Dark Hours in hardcover ebook and audio, a dark fantasy novel, the second in the Five Penalties trilogy. From Melissa Marr, we have The Hidden Dragon, out from Penguin Random House, the Nancy Paulson imprint, in hardcover ebook and audio, a middle grade fantasy novel set in the same world as The Hidden Knife. Otter finds a stowaway boy on her father's ship, and the two set out to help the kingdom. 
From Gunhild Oyehog, we have Evil Flowers, out from Farrar, Strau, and Giroux in hardcover and ebook, a collection of 25 surreal stories translated by Carrie Dixon from the Norwegian. We have Lissa Mia Smith's Ravel, out from Balzer and Bray in hardcover ebook and audio, a dark, romantic, young adult fantasy novel about the Ravel family, a magical theater troupe on an island off Prohibition era New York City. Things go wrong when their 18 year old star is sent to seduce the scion of time traveling politicians. I mean, what could go wrong with sending an 18 year old to seduce an important politician? What could possibly go wrong? Lastly, we have Richard Swan's The Tyranny of Faith, out from Orbit US in hardcover ebook and audio. This fantasy mystery novel is the second in the Empire of the Wolf trilogy. Sir Conrad von Vault, Emperor's Justice, returns to find the capital city filled with unrest, and the Emperor's grandson has been kidnapped. That wraps up this week. Thanks for spending some time with us. At Locus, we want to tell you everything relevant that's happening in the science fiction fantasy horror publishing space. We appreciate your eyes and ears and your likes and subscribes. Please do subscribe and turn notifications on so you know about this video when it goes up every week. The magazine and YouTube channel are a labor of love. We are at Locus Mag or at Locus Magazine on most platforms. You can read more about the science fiction fantasy horror field over at www.locusmag.com or support us on our Patreon. We are a 501c3 nonprofit. Come back and see us again soon, and we'll be here next week with more new books.